Over here. There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. That Welcome little speech went better than I expected. Farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. <laughs> Fucking coconuts. Que vuelta. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Binga. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. Come on. That's it. You're okay. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. Sí. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! Come on. That's a good horse. Easy. Hey, ¿cómo estás? Bueno. Si no te molesta. 
like I said. When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush of the past. Fucking up the convoy. Taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo. You ready? I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Here's your wheels. Got here as fast as I could. Thank you. Run. What's 
off. This is going to help a montón. Danny, we need to talk. It's about Castillo. It's also about Libertad. It's about everything. Okay, Clara, shoot. No, not like this. Come find me at the Esperanza School for the Lost. I think you know the place. Yeah, you could say that. On my way. Danny, make sure you're alone. No Juan. This is just you and me. I heard you hit that convoy. See? Si. On Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Esperanza School for the Lost. Full circle, eh, Clara? What are you looking at? Oye, Dani. Clara's upstairs. Gracias. What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Talia. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. You want to tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're joking, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. We need to talk. I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me, only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito, the fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution. 
and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets. But we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a turista. <laughs> Oye, walk away, now. El Tigre! Is Carlito a fucking tank? Of course. I'm watching. Hola, baby Tigre. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends, but Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. Is that Diego? Poor kid never had a chance. Take out that camera. Well, that's not. Exactly, carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby 
Tigre, let's go! Fix up Carlito and blast open the gates! So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. 
when we are all free. See? <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's going to be good. I'm good. Come on. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. <sighs> Enough of that nonsense, El Tigre. to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Danny. I'm your eyes on this one, and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Pinga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Fucking hell. What is it with Castillo and you? I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last get in here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. <laughs>
What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. tell you the plan. Oh my god. I hope the pontoon holds. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly Get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. Honey, you should be proud. My baby Tigre, a big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No. You are me, the feast. Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Do they die? 
Nothing new! Remember your training! Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! A guerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! Come on! No, no, no. Okay, if you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Excelente! That tank was the most powerful weapon! Now, it's time to kill these fake Yaren rats! That is the Benitez. Get 
me the fuck out of here. Open my cell. You can do it in the control room. I will not survive here. Now how do I open the door? Benitez went Go ahead! Release the fake Yaran rats! They will die! Just like you! Fuck! You think I wasn't me. ready for an attack like this?
beat this? Ojo por ojo. Viva la moral! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, Mama. Same mistakes. New faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Unitas is private stash. Huh? Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Sí, viva la moral! Ah! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was alarmed. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you had Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the President has a Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchis. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Elena. Hola, Danny. You should be proud. Clara, the Admiral is dead. That's a huge blow to Anton's military. Benitez was the poster child for the new Yara. With the Admiral gone, they're disorganized. Keep hitting them hard, Danny. That was the plan. Take care, Clara. Funny. Thank our mothers. The ancianos keep talking about their glory days. This party is aging me 30 years. Let's go. We're doing our own thing. We need Honoron. She's at a house on the beach. I'll drive. No. Let's ride. I keep fighting and I'm not wrong. I calculated my alcohol. I'm good to drive. You sure? I'm fine. So, here's why you're really here. I just got off the phone with Castillo. What? He said, if I turn you in, he will release all of the outcasts in El Este. 
You're joking, right? It's for the greater good, Danny. What? Aren't you ready to sacrifice yourself for the good of Yara? <laughs> Coño. You're fucking with me. Of course I am. Shit. Lighten up, Danny. Besides, I give up Lorenzo first. Where are we going? First to Hongron, then our island. With Benita instead, it's safe to go back there. You have an island? It was our place to hang out, hook up, drink. I'd go there to study. Hell of a mix. <laughs> Honron and her brother showed it to me. Honron has a brother? Yeah. He and I... We had a thing. No shit. <laughs> Where is he? I need another drink for that story. We're here. Counts. <laughs> what are you? The fucking UN? Let's get Danny a trophy for trying. What's next? Is this gonna be party Jelena or wiki Jelena? Fuck off. You getting the grill? You know how I feel about using that thing. Animals have goddamn brains too. You know dolphins can use tools? Cojone, there was a beautiful second I forgot you were vegan. Can you show Danny where the grill is? Yeah, yeah, you monsters. Danny, grab that. I'll show you where to find meat or fish to cook. Or plant-based food for the good of your soul. I'll show you where the grill is. Walk with me. I'm getting drunk tonight, that's for fucking sure. I hope Anna shows up. Hmm. No mosquitoes. That's weird. I'm good with Libertad, Homron. You might think she's all talk, but Lara Garcia, she picked me up when I had nothing. Nobody. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. <laughs> that reminds me of this fucking grill. What? It was the early days of La Moral. We were starving after a beautiful day of fighting. We killed a hundred soldados and... Every day you guys kill a hundred soldados. <laughs> Whatever. Yo! The point is... We came here to celebrate. Everybody's throwing meat on the grill and... I ask them to make room for my veggies. And everyone starts making fun of my veganness. 
I'm a fun drunk, okay? But if I hear, eat some fucking arroz con puerco, honrón, one too many times, I kind of lose my shit. Just a bit. I will remember that for later. <laughs> well, you've been warned. So, I'm pissed. My big brother, Gerardo, sees people picking on me, and he fucking snaps. Grabs the grill with his bare hands. Hot as shit, meat still cooking, and chucks it into the ocean. Everybody was gonna kill me. Gerardo steps up the way a good big brother does. <laughs> he always had my back when no one else did. He died like a week after that. I fucking miss him. I'm sorry, Honron. But I'm sure he's happy we took down Benitez. <laughs> Gerardo wishes he was at this party for sure. He'd always say, we're not here to feel like shit. We're here to erase the past and drink to our future. And to eat our veggies, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly, Danny. The grill's over there. Watch out for the sharks. Follow me. This place feels smaller than I remembered. Come, I'll show you where to find some good hunting. You just need to point me in the right direction. <sighs> this island reminds me so much of Gerardo. Oh, Honron's brother? Yeah. What happened to him? In the early days of La Moral, Honron and Gerardo were so reckless. The two of them did this stupid smash and grab on a checkpoint and got arrested. I tried to bribe the guards to free them, but they could only get one out. I had to choose. My heart said Picarardo, but Honron is the best guerrilla we have. You picked Honron over your boyfriend? I did. I had a plan for the next day. We were going to break him out, but Benitez executed all the prisoners as punishment for Honron being freed. She doesn't know. Gerardo was thrown up at the fort. Pinga. I think about that choice every day. And the truth is, if I had to do it over again, I'd still pick Honron. It's the right call. It's just... Well, you know. There's only one person responsible for Gerardo's death, and that's Castillo. Gracias, Danny. But I was born with an eye for bullshit. In La Revolución, we are all guilty. Just some a bit more than others. I think Libertad might have a bit more faith in humanity. And that's why I'll never join. Look, there's crocodiles and fish on this side of the island. And grab a couple of carrots for our fucking rabbit, Honron. You got it, Yelena. I'm just going to take a minute alone. It's been a long time since I've been here. Gotta get one more. <sighs> I know you're there, little fishy.
Feels good to be above ground. They're waiting for me to start. Hmm. They're not going to rope me into doing an unpaid dance. Can you believe it? Some of those legends can still put up a fight. Yeah. 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 Activo todo el que me escucha. Ya la, saquen las espadas. Ya la nos.